G'day guys, how you going? We're starting a new project today that I'm pretty pumped about. We're teaming up with uh, my mate Tiny from the Brain Dead Brothers. So they're a clothing, clothing company uh, just started out here in Melbourne. They do really cool sketches and designs and shuffle on shirts and make beanies and jumpers and all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna team up with him and he's going to scribble all over a lowrider frame and we're gonna put together a bit of a brain dead bike. Start off with today though, we need to strip this frame down so it's back to its bare metal and then we can build up a nice white base coat for him to draw all over. We're gonna to start today by scuffing up the paint that's here on our purple lowrider frame. It's not bad condition, but we need to get rid of it. So we're gonna start with some P100 sandpaper, scuff it all up, and then we're gonna grab our paint stripper and put that on the top and see if we can get as much of this paint off as possible to have a nice, clean, fresh surface to start laying down our undercoat and then our white. All right, let's get into it. Some of the important equipment we're using today are some chemical gloves to help protect us from the corrosive nature of the paint stripper. We've got a paint scraper here as well and some steel wool for later as well as a paintbrush to apply our paint stripper. I just got this paint stripper from my local hardware store and I'm sure your local hardware store will be able to stop that stuff as well. As per the instructions on the can, it's good to do little bits at a time. So I'm just going to do this first side of the frame. Everything I can see from the center, moving up towards the front. So that means inside here as well. And you can, I can already see that it's starting to break down that paint, which is exactly what we're after. Making sure I get into all the little joins because that's where the paint will tend to try and stick around. Once I've done this, we'll leave it for about 10 minutes or so and then we'll come back with our scraper and see what we can get off. I'm pretty keen though because it's starting to come off fairly easily. So as you can see, it's just scraping off really easily for me as I go along there. It's coming off very, very easily, which is fantastic. You can see the undercoat underneath there. We'll need to get that off as well. I'll do this whole scrape for one um, session and then um, I'll come back and hit it again with more paint stripper until we're back to that bare metal. So I'll keep on working and see how I get. All right, we're making some progress on our frame here. We're hitting the top side now. The um, paint stripper is just setting in on that top side. You can see lots of gunk and stuff, the leftover paint that's been left on. So once I hit this top side, do a little bit more, I'll run under the tap, see what I can get off and then we'll go back for our second run through. Remember safety, like I mentioned before, make sure you've got these chemical grade gloves because otherwise this stuff is pretty bad for your skin. If I was doing this inside as well, I'd make sure I had a ventilation mask on because this stuff isn't too good for your insides either, breathing it in a lot. My savior of the day is this paint scraper. It's a special kind, multi one, with this moon shape in it and that is making it very, very easy for me to get around the different bars on the bike. So just a little thing, if you're gonna be paint stripping a bike, try and get one of these with the rounded moon edge in it to uh, really get around those areas. But let's get back into it. So we've got most of the purple off the frame here. Doesn't need to be perfect, just needs to be nice and clean and smooth. 
We're gonna go over it with our steel wool and a bit of mineral turpentine just to clean up and even out everything and then I'll go over it with some sandpaper and then we'll be ready for our undercoat ready to paint. So I'm very excited, let's keep on moving and see what our results will be. So it makes a big difference when you get into um, putting the turps with the steel wool. It takes off all those extra little bits of undercoat or paint that the um, paint stripper didn't quite get to. The stripper has loosened them up a lot though so they come off fairly easily. I don't have my gloves on anymore but like I said, in between our different coats of stripper I've been over to the tap, washed it off, dried it off, um, done that about three or four times. So there's no paint stripper left on the frame, so I'm good to go just with the turps um, running over it with their steel wool. Just making sure I wash my hands as soon as I'm finished here. Alright, so there you have it. We're almost there. I'm probably going to spend just a little bit more time on it, but I'm going to leave it here for today with you guys. Before I undercoat, which will be my next video, I'll put, uh, I'll sand this back, make sure it's nice and clean, nice and smooth, ready to go for our undercoat. We'll do that. We'll do our white on top, and then we'll be able to pass it off to Tiny to work his magic. Then we'll be able to put it together and hopefully be cruising within the next couple of weeks. So it should be a nice little summer project down here in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, let me know in the comments what you're building. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.